The front control panel area contains three main features. In addition to a key to keep nosy neighbors out of your data, there's something called a turbo switch. Now, the switch toggles the clock speed of your PC from its fastest speed, as much as 33 or 66 megahertz, to a slower speed, usually about 4 or 8 megahertz. The switch is there in case you need to run older software that was written specifically for slower PC speeds. Otherwise, you almost never want the slower speed because it slows everything down. The reset switch is a backup. Usually, you can reboot your PC by pressing the Control, Alt, and Delete keys at the same time. But if that fails, you can use the reset switch to reboot the computer. It's a lot easier than flipping the on-off switch. Finally, most PCs have a small light that flashes on and off whenever a drive is in use. Most of the time, you can ignore the light. But it can be helpful if you're having hard drive troubles or if your PC won't respond. This is the on-off switch. On some computers, it may be found on the back or side. If you use this switch to reboot your computer, you should wait 10 seconds after turning it off before you turn it on again. This will help your PC keep everything clear. The power cord carries electricity to your PC. Some PCs also have an outlet you can use to plug in a monitor. The three ports you see here are vital to how a computer handles input and output. Most PCs come with two serial ports. There are two sizes of serial port connectors. One has 9 pins and the other has 25 pins. Both do the same thing, it's just that on the 25 pin connector most of the pins are not used. It's called a serial port because bits of data are sent one after the other, like soldiers marching single file through a gate. That's why the serial port is usually connected to a mouse, which sends so little data that speed isn't important, or to a modem, since current telephone lines can only handle one signal at a time anyway. Compare this with the PC's parallel port, which can transmit up to eight data bits in either direction at the same time in parallel. This makes a parallel port much faster than a serial port. Most PCs have only one parallel port, and it usually connects to a printer. All PCs have a port used to connect a keyboard. There are two types of keyboard ports. Most PCs have the larger, old style, called an AT keyboard port. Some PCs have the smaller keyboard port found on the IBM PS computers. Any keyboard can be used with either port if you have the correct cable. A sound card has several special connectors. One is there to send signals to external speakers. A different plug receives signals from a microphone, and another can receive signals from an external sound source such as a CD player. Now, Some sound cards also have a small knob to adjust the volume. Still others may have an extra connector for a joystick, which can also be used as a MIDI port. If your PC is used on a local area network or LAN, it has a network connector. There are several types of network connectors. Some look like telephone plugs. Others look like cable TV connectors. Still others are similar to 15-pin game ports. Whatever their design, they all serve the same purpose, to let you get to files stored on other computers. All PCs have a connector that sends video signals across a cable to the monitor. Older PCs have a smaller connector with only 9 pins on it. This is for an EGA or CGA monitor. Any PC produced within the last several years has a 15-pin VGA connector. Some video cards may also have a connector for a mouse.